And tonight, a central Indiana mother is mourning the loss of her daughter three months after she died from an overdose. We know that heroin is spreading through Indiana and across the country. But as Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker tells us tonight, there is another deadly drug that's also hitting epidemic proportions. There's a door to an upstairs room that stays closed in Jessica Kennecom's Richmond home. When I even get near it, it, it makes my heart like pound. The door hasn't been opened in three months. I just don't want to open up the door. That's because behind it is the bedroom where Jessica's 21-year-old daughter Aaliyah took her last breath after overdosing. She died four days before Christmas. <laughs> you wouldn't know it to see this video of Aaliyah and a friend in happier times. But Jessica says her daughter struggled with addiction since she was 15. By 18, she was using heroin on a regular basis. I asked her, I've asked her, why do you keep doing this to yourself? And she's like, I just can't do life, and I just don't know how to be happy. Jessica says she tried everything to help Aaliyah, paying for stints in rehab in Florida, and even once tried to help her daughter come off heroin at home. Seeing her go through that is, was the worst thing ever, to see your child in that much pain. She's consumed my life, literally. And it was Jessica, a nurse, who tried to save her daughter's life the night Aaliyah's little brother found her unconscious in her room. She, I did CPR on her until the paramedics got there and they had to pull me off of her. When Jessica got the results back from her daughter's autopsy, she found out she didn't overdose on heroin. It was another drug that led to her death, an opioid called fentanyl, often given to cancer patients for their pain in a time-released patch. I don't think that she thought she was doing fentanyl. I think she thought she was probably doing heroin because that was her, her drug of choice. America is in a full-on opioid crisis. This past week, lawmakers heard testimony on Capitol Hill about the growing problem of fentanyl use because of how easy and cheap it's become to make it and buy on the streets or Internet. Jessica says she knows who sold her daughter that last hit and has told police. They don't seem too interested in pursuing anything. So here this mother sits with overwhelming grief. It'll never be the same. Wondering who the next mother like her will be and if there's anything she can do to stop it. I want to do what I can to try to make these drug dealers accountable. In Richmond, Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.